14.30 ada delay keterlambatan pesawat dari Taiwan. Terima kasih ya. back with another flight vlog today I'm flying um, China Airlines again for the fifth time it's my third time flying on um, economy class so the first two times that I flew in economy was when I flew back from LA to Jakarta and overall the experience was just okay you know there's like some areas of improvement such as like the Wi-Fi and the food just wasn't as good as compared to flying on premium economy which is when I first flew on the airline itself. So I decided, you know, why not? I should give it another try, you know, fly China Airlines um, economy class for one more time just to see whether I'll have a better experience or an experience that's just equally the same. So my flight is delayed as the plane coming from Taiwan arrived a little bit late, but that means that I have more time to chill because I was actually running a bit late to the airport because I've been very, very lazy recently.
into the flight, I wasn't really sure on what to do as I was not interested in any movies in the in-flight entertainment that I haven't watched before, but that could be just because I'm lazy to check them out. So I decided to buy the 24-hour Wi-Fi, which is a little expensive, but it's more valuable than a 3-hour one if you're going for a flight that's longer than 4 hours. Similar to the previous time I flew, the Wi-Fi is terrible for Google Docs, but it's still decent on Instagram. And when I tried to work on an online course in Farage, thankfully, the Wi-Fi was kind of okay, but it was still a bit slow. Now I'm just setting up to capture the beautiful view outside using my phone and this took around 20 minutes. so there's one hour left till we arrive in Taipei and overall this flight has been absolutely amazing definitely one of the best experiences I've had in economy if not the best because first off I get the entire three seats to myself initially um, these two other seats are supposed to be occupied by my mom and my little brother but because the seats around us are empty, uh, my mom moved to um, one of the middle seats and my little brother moved to the window seat in front of me. Um, actually, the, f the passenger load for the flight, um, it's actually almost full in the rear cabin from what I've heard from the cabin crew, but on the first few rows of economy, it's almost empty and one reason for that is because you have to pay an extra fee to sit in one of these rows but because I booked the flexi fare, um, I didn't have to pay a single dollar to get one of these amazing seats. So this is the perks of 
paying the flexi fare, even though it's the most expensive economy fare, but there are definitely benefits that could pay off. Like this one where I could just stretch my leg as if I'm flying business class. Also, uh, for my flight from Taiwan um, to LA, I also booked the flexi fare, but unfortunately the first rows were already all full because I booked it I booked the whole trip from LA to Indonesia and back in the very last minute so I just picked the random aisle seat and from what I saw the website um, the seats beside me are all occupied so I might as well just um, enjoy this unique economy class flying experience for the last hour That was so good. Uh, <laughs> Taiwan. Thank you.